Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Last time we got a bunch of power moons in New Donk City. In this video we'll get a bunch of power moons in New Donk City. Uh, to be precise, we'll be getting eight moons in this video. I said in the previous video it's nine, but I forgot that one of them is impossible to get. So we won't be getting that one. Uh, we will be getting the other eight, however. Because as far as I know, they're all possible. Hopefully I'm not wrong, we'll see how we go. Uh, I mentioned there's some purple coins up here that I want to get, so I'm going to hop up there and do that first. We do have most of the purple coins in this kingdom already, but there's still some more. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff in this kingdom. Uh, so you can see there's two down there, so I'm just going to hop down and grab those. You can see there's an interesting drawing of Mario there. Uh, do I want to go over there? Probably not. Just yet. We have some purples and they're over this direction, so... Oh, the bunny! Okay, hi bunny! Uh, as usual, the bunny, you just have to chase it, but it, it goes between different rooftops. Uh, we'll be doing that in a bit, because I fell down. Uh, I'll pull a bone. We can use this to climb up. There we go. And there should be purple coins just here, somewhere. I might be a bit higher up. I forget exactly where they are. We already got that third story. Uh, it is good to keep collecting purple coins you already got, since they're worth two each. You make a decent, like, regular coin profit by doing that. So I would recommend scooping up purple coins you already got if you happen to pass by them. Uh. Okay, so over here you can see we've got another power line we can use to climb onto the rooftops again. Uh. That should get us, yeah. No? Where are those purples I was looking at a moment ago? I've forgotten the location. Oh, there they are. They're over there. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's grab them. Okay, so that bunny. Um, the bunny is a little annoying to chase because you have to keep going between rooftops. Um, using these springy thingies. Because the bun can jump quite far. As you can see, um, quite impressive for a bun. No! Oh my goodness. I do a quick triple jump there using my amazing jump cancelling techniques <laughs> that nobody doing any other kind of run of this game needs to care about. Uh, okay, so there's the bunny. What else needs doing? Uh, the race needs doing. Uh, in this kingdom's race, you basically climb up to the top of. Uh, at the top of that tower there. Uh, we got a moon up there earlier, but you know you have to do it fast, obviously. Uh, we have to do the other, the other, um, you know the one. You know, you know what I'm thinking of. <laughs> the uh, the other parking one is what I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm glad that we all remembered what I was thinking of and we managed to talk about it without any trouble. Okay, so yeah, the other parking one, basically have to get this scooter. I think it's the only possible way is to get this scooter, because it's so high up, you can use it to make a leap of faith, I believe is what the moon's actually called. And you get a lot of forward momentum, as you can see, in order to land over here without any difficulty at all. Uh, and then you can just hop down here and park yourself in this little spot here, where the guy wants you to park. Uh, Takes a bit of hopping around. I'm facing the wrong way, but that's not a problem. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah, I still got the moon, as you can see. Without any difficulty. Uh, next up, I reckon we're gonna go over here, and... I don't really know why there's a power line there. I think you can make it up without it. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, so the power line is completely redundant just there. So I don't know why it's there. 
uh, the roving races here. Basically, we start pretty much where we're standing now. I think a little bit closer to the destination. No, that's exactly where we were. Um, it happens at night time. This is one of the few ways to go back to night time, uh, Nudong City, which is cool. And basically what we want to do is just climb up there as fast as possible. Uh, the Koopas have a couple of different routes they take. The fastest way I think is to use the power lines, because power lines are very, very quick. Uh, even if you bonk a little bit, you'll be okay. Because the Koopas don't know, you can use this power line, and then this power line, to climb all the way up to the top, and then you can just jump down to the destination from there. As you can see. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you get the idea of what I'm doing, though. Uh, it's, it works pretty well. Um, I'm probably using the same route again for the second one. Uh, here, because of all the obstacles in the way, rolling along doesn't really help that much, so I'm just using jumps and stuff instead, just to speed ourselves up a bit. There we go. So yeah, you just want to get all the way to the top by using these two power lines. Then you can just head over this way. Just long jump. And there you go. Easy peasy. Uh, the dark side version of... not dark side, the B side version of this moon is a little harder, but not a lot harder. Very doable. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Okay, so that's that done. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I can see some purple coins right in front of us, so I'm gonna head that way. Go grab them. Uh, we have to get the bunny still. There's a few other things we need to do still. Since there's another, what is it, six moons to get? So five minus the bunny. Oh, it's slots, right. Uh, yeah, we have to do the slots here. Um, as you remember from Tostarina, the slots are really hard in this setup because ca throwing Cappy is so difficult. Uh, this one isn't much harder, thankfully. It's only a four slot slots, so it shouldn't take us too much effort, but we'll see how we go. I think I want to go when the regular heart shows up. No, that's not the order. Um, maybe, maybe the coin? Well, I got one. I got, oh, I'll get more than one coin. Okay, I didn't realize it works that way. Wow, okay. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, Alright, so we actually made a profit there, which is nice. Uh, there's actually an invisible coin up there. Actually, a few invisible coins up there. So you make a bit more profit if you want. Also, yeah, this is a Tost Arena game, so no matter where you play it, it looks like this and has a Tost Arena running it. It's because that's just where the game originated, theoretically. Um. Okay, that sucked. That was like the worst possible play. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay, that worked. I think I was on... the... Maybe? I'm not sure. Ah, I'm outside. Ugh. So yeah, when you go outside, you've just wasted those coins because when you go back in, you have to pay again. Which is very annoying, but obviously they never intended anyone to do that. Uh, because under normal circumstances, there's no reason to go outside during one of these slot games. Yes! Oh wow, oh wow, that was awesome. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, uh, wow, okay. Uh, five more moons, so there's the rabbit. Um, what else, what else? We did the bird already, thankfully, which is good because I don't like doing the bird and I'm glad it's out of the way. Um, uh, is there, there is a moon in there, but we already got it, so we need to go in there again. Let me see. Let me see. Let me 
just have a thing. We've already bought a moon, so that one's done. Uh, we did both of the scooter things. We did the... Hmm. I think we've done pretty much all the sub-areas that are already done. In this kingdom. Uh, let's see, we talked to the German Toad. We might just talk to Talker too and see what ideas they have to offer. Uh, oh, okay, okay, there is a hat and seek I can do around here somewhere. Where? Is it you? No, that guy actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, oh, I should <laughs> fix the wrong. Oh my god. Yeah, they just open the action guide in order to show, show it to you. And that actually resets your controls, so I've got to re rubber band myself. There we go. Um, you'll notice the new Donkers actually walk weirdly. They have, like, fewer animation cycles than most other characters. I don't know why. Uh, I guess they just wanted to have, like, an interesting aesthetic or something? I don't know, it's, it's very strange. Um, but yeah, there should be some hat and seek moves we can do. So if I look around, basically the backs of these people's heads, I should be able to spot the one that has Lord Voldemort in it. Um, which I mean, a cute and friendly new Donker, not actually... You know, Satan. Not Satan. Satan's lovely. Someone, someone garbage. Who's garbage? Um, you know, just a, just a bad person. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember exactly where where the Hat and Seek moons actually are. Um, but basically, there'll be a new Donker around here somewhere who has eyes in the back of their head because their hat is actually a disguised uh, bonnet. For whatever reason, they look, the bonnet is just sit on people's heads and actually capture them as far as I can tell. Um, which is an interesting quirk of the way the game works, I suppose. Uh, did they bring some purple coins here? Did I get them already? Yes, I did. So yeah, you just sort of check the back of everyone's head in a sort of paranoid way like this. There's the hint that you need to get a purse, by the way. Uh, you get a hint from um, from Pauline herself as well, but there's also this one you can do. And that one's available earlier, so you can figure out what you want to do a bit sooner and actually get the correct item before you actually know you need it, basically. If you, time, if you, you know, know what to do. Which we did, but we didn't do it that way. You. Getting a little life apart for the coins. You? No? Yeah, the thing is, it could be any of these new donkers, and I can't remember who it is. Oh, maybe it's someone in this group, actually. There's a bunch of people here who all have hats on their heads. Is it you? No, it doesn't look like it. And it's not these guys. Might go do the bunny and then have another look around the hat and seek later. So I do need to do the bunny. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, there's a moon this guy gives you that we cannot get. Because while we're permanently crouching, we can't sit down. And you get the moon for sitting down next to him. Uh, so we will not be getting that one, unfortunately for us. Uh, the bunny is on these ledges, as you can see. You can just like roll down there. And... Nope, that didn't quite work out the way I had. Nope. Heckin' bunnies. So yeah, this one's a bit annoying because of the positioning of the bun and all that, but it's, it's completely doable. 
And the fact that the one keeps moving around. Uh, you can't actually give chase in that direction, because there isn't a flipper on this side. You have to go back up here. There we go. Yeah, give me that moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, so that's four out of eight. We're making good progress. I, do either of you have... Nope. Kind of like how it makes you feel like a paranoid weirdo checking the backs of everyone's heads in order to find the one who's hanging out behind them. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Maybe this guy, actually. Nope. Aha! So you can see the eyes just there. All you gotta do is just walk up and talk to them, and they'll be like, hey. Yes, thank you. Ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's five moons. There should be three more that we can do. I'm gonna just check with talk to because I don't remember which ones we haven't got yet. <laughs> How do we take out the trash? Oh! Okay, I know which one that is, but I thought I already did it. Um, I must have bonked or something instead of actually getting it. Uh, that's the one where you're up here on the rooftop, and you can look down on this side of the roof and see that garbage can over there. So basically, we want to go open that. I keep calling it a garbage can. It's a dumpster. It's a different thing. Oops. Yeah, if I'd actually done a cap bounce, that might have worked a bit better, but I, I didn't. Uh, you can't warp until you're touching the ground. Interestingly enough, the ground can be poison or lava, and you can still warp by touching it. Um, you just have to be really, really precise, because touching those things hurts you and will either kill you or bounce you off the floor immediately, so you have to be really, really good with your opening the map screen timing, basically. <laughs> Easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I guess that's six moons. There should be two more that we can get around here somewhere. If I can remember where they are, that would be fantastic. There might be another Hat and Seek moon. I know that the um, Bonacar at the front mentioned that there were two friends that we have to find, but I'm not sure if the other one's actually available yet, so. Let's just head back over and talk to, talk to, and see what's suggested. If it's, if it's some, um, there's a certain moon that we actually can't get. Oh, the clown! Okay. Um. Okay, um, alright, I'll go get, I'll go get the clown outfit, so we can do the clown one. I didn't think that was on the, on the A side, I thought that was the B side moon. Uh, but basically, you just come over here, where you buy the outfits. And we want to buy a clown outfit dress as a clown. Uh, the clown hat is kind of cute. It's just, it's just a little, 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 um, you know, that thing. Um, like a party hat. Looks like a party hat. It's cute. Um, but you also get clown makeup and stuff, and Mario looks a bit weird. Anyway, we're now a clown. Uh, and now our hat is logically made of, like, cardboard now, because it's a party hat, but... We just get the regular bounce sound instead of like a metallic bounce or a paper bounce or anything special. That's just the standard bounce you get with the normal, like, cloth based hats. Maybe this is like a cloth based party hat, who knows? Okay, yeah, you just have to be a clown and you have to talk to this fellow over here uh, who's looking out and being sad and wishing they were a clown. You just have to look like a clown and you get a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's... was that seven? Yeah, so there should be one more moon we can get. Um, well, there's two, but we don't want to do the post-game moon just yet, even though it's on the A side. It's really a post-game moon, so we're going to leave that for the moment. Um, uh, and there's one we definitely can't get, which is... Uh, it's called Bench Friends, the one where you have to sit down next to that guy, which we can't do, obviously. 
I mean, I don't know if it's obvious that crouching means you can't you can't sit down, but bench friends, there it is. Okay, so what have we got left? Uh, I feel like the other moon we're missing is a hat and seek moon, but I don't know where it would be. Like it's it's right next to the other hat and seek moon, and I know that you can hat and seek in the germ room, but maybe that hasn't unlocked yet. Uh, let's have another look in there and see if we can see anything. Uh, looks like no. Cappy, would, Cappy says that there's another moon in here once it unlocks. I think it might be a, a B-side moon that's in this existing sub-area for some reason. It's kind of weird. Uh, Alright, so there must be something else I'm forgetting. I don't know what though. Hmm. Well, I can try talking to talk to and see if I get another moon name suggested. Uh, we did the hint out already with the secret path that race, it's not either of those. Hmm. I talk to. Oh yeah, um, if you bop talk to with your hat, it interrupts the ability to talk, so then you do a flip by accident and... Oh, right! Hang up the power plant. Uh, basically, we have to head back down to the underground power plant again. Uh, and there's a moon we can get in the same spot we got the original, uh... The original, um, story moon. Forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, we just head back down here. Just like we did before. Um, I'm probably gonna do the same thing again. Try to avoid making the platforms turn. Uh... It's definitely completely possible. You saw in my previous run that I only messed up one that was inconsequential. Uh, as you can see, the plant's running and using probably Shavarian moons that they've stolen. I don't know. Oops. Well, I messed that up, so... That's fun. Uh, once we've got this, that should be all the moons we're going to be getting today. Uh, please don't hit it. Okay. How are we doing top of coins wise? 85 out of 100. It's pretty good, but, you know, there's more. There we go, that's how you do that. Okay, so this last little bit, uh, what we basically want to do, I forget what we did before. I think it was basically something like... Something like that, right? Yeah. Uh, then there's the moon up there. But now if we head over this way, I'm just going to backflip my way over there, there we go. There will be a new challenge here. Rather than the previous thing, there's now this new component here that they need to install. Uh, this is basically the same puzzle as that um, rotating one from uh, from um, the Lake Kingdom. Uh, you have to get that piece in facing the correct way, basically. You can see that it's got like an outlet on the bottom that you're trying to connect it up to. Uh, as with the other one, I usually just end up reinforcing this because I don't know what the right way to do it is. Looks like I figured it out pretty easily, though. Yeah, so you plug that in. The power plant now works better for some reason. And here you can see more, more clearly, the moons inside there are definitely a different moon type to the moons in there, the moons we can pick up. See, these are sort of brownish pinkish, and those ones are bright orange. So absolutely, this city is being run by moons that are not local moons. They're importing their power from somewhere else. And I think it's probably Shivaria because Shivaria has orange moons. If you look at the... See, you can see it's orange in the little picture there. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, I'm going to cash in these eight moons. Uh, we can exit just through this pipe over here. And in the next video, we'll be doing the B-side of this kingdom. Uh, there's a lot to the B-side in this kingdom, so we may need more than one video, or we may not. We'll see how we go. Uh... But for now, that's that. So let's just make our way back over to the Odyssey. Uh, we could warp there, but no, navigating through stuff is fun in this game, so let's just do it. Hey, 
Bam. Um, we went past the tourists there. They said they're going to the Cascade Kingdom next. We could go back to Cascade and get that moon now. But there is another moon that we'll be getting in Cascade, which is the Secret Path. And we'll be doing that soonish. So we'll do both of them at that point, I think. Uh, anyway, so we got all of those. Cash them in. That might give us a new product. It might not be enough. It is. It's enough. So I believe that means we can buy a Bowsette's outfit now. I might just go and check, because this video is a little short compared to some of the others. Uh, just to make sure that's what's available. Uh, once we've done the B-side, we should have access to the outfit I really want, which is exciting. Because that's another, I think it's 23? 23 moons? I think it's something like that. Uh, Hello. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see you can buy Bowsette's top hat and her tuxedo. You can't quite see it in this picture, but her shell is in in that costume, so Mario gets a shell as well. Um, but yeah, the next two items we get are the ones I'm really waiting to, hoping to pick up. Um, they're going to be about as expensive as those, so we will need to gather some coins. Uh, but that's not a biggie. We'll get some coins. Uh, in any case, that's it for this video. Uh, as you can see, we're still missing two moons. We'll get one of them in the next video, and the other one is completely impossible for us. So we're going to be one moon short here, because we can't do this one. Burn trends. Everything else, though, we should be able to do without too much trouble. Uh, so, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to go change outfits, because I don't like the clown outfit. Uh, but that's about it for this video besides that. <laughs> uh, let me see, what outfits do we... Oops. No, I can't happy, I was trying to activate the Odyssey. There we go. Uh, if we just head over to the wardrobe here, you can activate it while crouching, so not a problem. Boop. Uh, I do like Mario's tux and top hat. They, they look really cute. Uh, let's see, we've got Builder, we've got Pirate, we got... We got a bunch of stuff, actually. Uh, I might go with the black top hat and suit. There we go. So these are from Bonneton. We got them quite a while ago. And I think they look cute. I think it's a cute outfit. Uh, until we get the one we really want, which we'll be getting soon. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Next time we're doing New York City's B-side. Hooray!